Hey guys, it's Linsar! Welcome back my sweet Ohana to a new video! Thank you for joining me, I am so happy. I think this video is super interesting. So one week ago, Simply Nailogical uploaded a video about how to make your teeth holographic. As soon as she uploaded that and I watched the video, I was like, I need to do this. So I'm like, mm, I don't want to do it exactly like she did. I want to do it in my own way. So I decided I wanted to do holographic vampire teeth. So as I'm speaking, I've already done the teeth, the tooth, the teeth tooths. They came in a package like this. Uh, it's from a Swedish just uh, hobby store. These are called Scarecrow Custom Fangs and you custom mold them to your teeth. So they really stick and these are for Halloween, which I have noticed. Thankfully, I got the shorter ones. I almost got the, the long ones, but these are almost too long. They're not too long, they're like perfect, but uh, I look a bit weird with them in when I have this black lipstick. I'm so sorry for having such ratchet lines. You're gonna see that later. But uh, yeah, it's black lipstick, be forgiving. <laughs> I shouldn't have worn that today. So let us begin with this DIY. If you do try this out, tag me on Instagram or tell me in the comments below to watch your video. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. So the first thing I did was mold the tooth to my tooth. <laughs> I don't wanna talk about tooth anymore. I don't even know how to say it. If I could redo it, I would do this after I made the tooth holographic. But I did this first anyway, so I molded it to my teeth to get them to fit perfectly and after that I was ready to holograph them. <laughs> Holographic! So let's start off with the things you'll need. It's not a lot, I promise. You'll need your holographic powder, black nail polish, you need water-based top coat and you also need a top coat, a regular just. And you need left hangs. These are the ones I'm using, you don't have to use exactly the, the ones I'm using, but I'm recommending the water top coat, it worked really really good. So the first thing you have to do is paint your fangs black. This is because holographic powder works best with black underneath and it will make it pop more. So if you don't use a black under coat, <laughs> it's not gonna look as holographic as it would with. Thank you Nail Logical for teaching me this. Pour the holographic powder over the nail, a lot of it, and use paper underneath. So the holographic powder you spill, you can just pour down back in the bottle. But you need to push it in. You see it's a bit foggy, it's not totally holographic. I made both of them now, but I need to do another layer of the water-based top coat so I can add more holographic powder because I want it to be really, really holographic. So here I push it in again and I really, really rub it in. And you want it to be not tacky, but almost like it's a couple of seconds until it's completely hardened and you just want to push it in. It's hard to know exactly when to put the holographic powder in. I failed lots of times, but I just removed it when I did. If you can see here, you can just pull it off because the water based top coat is very easy to just peel. So I just redid that fang. And here I am just adding the final top coat and I'm adding some latex to the sides so that I can remove the excess access <laughs> glitter that got on the just the regular tooth that is supposed to blend with mine. And that's it guys, that's how I did them. I hope that wasn't too confusing. I am not the best explainer. If you want to see a real professional explain it to you, uh, I suggest going to the logical because she taught me how to do it. But it was really, really fun to try out and I really want to try it for my nails as well. Om du är svensk och kommer du kunna se en tutorial på det på min svenska kanal som finns länkad där nere. The finished product. Yay. Yeah. Okay, do you want to see how it looks like in? I do. <laughs> Pretty badass. Okay, I'm so scared that they're gonna fall off because I put them in sometimes before I made them holographic. It looks so weird with the black lipstick. Hee. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I can see now that the more I have them in, the more they kind of fade from the holographic and just turns it black. Hey, you can see? It didn't look like that before. So this is kind of just for Halloween if you want to wear like, be a holographic vampire. But um, it's probably gonna fade. I put so many layers of that nail polish 
on top of the holographic, so I don't understand why it's going away. But I do not recommend black lipstick because you look retarded. It looks like I have like no shin at all. <laughs> But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, I enjoyed it, and if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe and check out my other ones, they'll be popping up in the end too. I love you so much, thank you for sticking with me, I hope you liked this video and tell me what you thought in the comments down below. Uh, I love you, bye! <laughs>